If you watch this channel often, you probably know him. He's one of my humans. But this video is about me. Buongiorno. My name is Luigi Di Frenchi, but everybody calls me Gigi. I was born here, in Domasso, Italy, by the means of a complicated logistics operation involving specialized animal transport companies and later my humans, I have been transported to Geneva, Switzerland, where I live currently. My humans say it was worth it. I would like to think so. One would say I'm a cosmopolitan dog, but I feel that sounds awfully pretentious. I try to remain humble, that is just in my nature. But please forgive me as I'm getting sidetracked. I'm here to tell you how to get a dog from abroad and register him or her in Switzerland. I will give myself as an example to you. Timing. When can you actually bring a dog into Switzerland? The breeder will usually allow you to take the dog when the puppy is over two months old. From that time until the puppy is 12 weeks of age, you can bring the puppy into Switzerland. The dog does not have to be vaccinated against rabies before they are brought into the country. However, they do need confirmation completed by their owner, their new owner, that since they were born, they were not in contact with wild animals. If the dog is more than 12 weeks, the rabies vaccination will be needed. After getting the shot, the dog will have to wait three weeks, which usually means that you can bring a puppy between the age of eight and 12 weeks, or after that, three weeks after the rabies shots, which would usually be a total of 15 to 16 weeks after the puppy was born. Customs. When entering Switzerland with the puppy, present the dog to the customs officer, together with all the documents, passport, proof of vaccination, pedigree if applicable, the dog must be chipped, so the documents regarding the chip, and a signed stamped sales invoice for the dog specifying the price. You will be paying tax on the dog. Once you're done with customs, you have to register your dog in Switzerland. You have 14 days to do so. Insurance. The first step in registering a dog once in Switzerland is contacting an insurance company to get civil liability for the dog. It is compulsory. The insurance company will revert to you with a paper confirming that the dog has insurance. This has no additional cost to my humans as it was already included in the household insurance, although this may vary depending on your insurance. Police. You then must go to municipal police with all the above mentioned documents, the proof of insurance which you just received, passport, proof of vaccination, pedigree if applicable, documents regarding the trip and a signed stamped sales invoice for the dog, as well as your, the human's, ID and, if applicable, Swiss permit. The dog will be entered in the Amicus database. Wait a working day until proceeding to the next step. The vet. Ugh, this place sickens me. Once done at the police and entered in the Amicus database, take me to the vet with all the above mentioned documentation and proof of being added to the Amicus database, which you get at the police. The vet will check if I have all new vaccinations and also check my chip. The bill for my particular human was 60 francs. Wait a day before proceeding to the next step. Having finalized all the necessary paperwork at the vet, return to the municipal police with all the papers that you have received previously. The vet has added some data to the Amicus database. In case of Canton of Genève, you will now receive a little badge for me as the dog, proving that you have paid tax for the dog. The badge costs 10 francs. The rest you receive via paper mail. As of making this video, we did not receive any follow-up mail. If we do, we will add it in the description of this video. Congratulations, you finalized the process and your dog is now registered in Switzerland. Take good care of him, human. You're lucky to have him in your life. Thanks for watching. My human told me to ask you to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And see you in the next one.